This video is going to show how I hooked up a Honeywell digital wall thermostat to control my wood stove downstairs. Um, over here this temperature is actually reading the, the temperature in the chimney. Um, this switch over here turns an alarm on and off. If it gets too hot it'll actually start alarming. Um, this switch here is just main power. Right now you can see the temperature in my chimney is only about 71 Fahrenheit and I'm gonna go down and make a fire and I'm gonna show what happens okay we're downstairs now and this is my wood burning furnace um, yeah it's just a wood stove but I'm calling it a wood furnace because it's actually forced hot air uh, it actually draws air from the room goes through that scroll cage blower through a heat exchanger inside and out this ductwork and gets pumped to different parts of the house Right here, this thing here, uh, this is my temperature probe. It tells me upstairs what the temperature in the chimney is. I have that for safety reasons. Uh, if this starts getting too hot, I'd like to know about it so that uh, I could do something about it. So I don't have a chimney fire. This wire goes up and over to a little terminal block, a network of some other wires, and back upstairs. This wood stove is an airtight wood stove in that you control its heat by the air inlet turn screws that you see here. So right now they're all the way open and air can get in and provide combustion air for the fire. What would happen is as the stove gets hotter and hotter, I'd have to come downstairs and manually close each one in order to get things to cool down like that. Sometimes I'd have to close both of them down all the way. And then when I wanted more heat, I had to come back down and open them up again. This gets to be a pain in the butt, especially when you're trying to sleep and having to control temperatures manually like this was was really a pain. So that's why I made this two uh, these two cups here and they're on a hinge and you can see as I pull this cable it will close off the air supply so right now it's open and then closed and what I have along this cable up here to the ceiling is a 120 volt Honeywell damper actuator I don't know if you can see that if I can get it all in here but it runs on 120 volts and I've got circuitry that tells that when to open and when to close. And that actuator just pulls on this thing and closes it off like that.
So with the fire lit, you can see this number going up. This is the temperature in the chimney. And uh, that will come up maybe around 500, 550, and then settle back down to 450 and stay there for quite a while. Um, this unit here is actually an exhaust gas temperature gauge for an automobile, and you can program it. I actually have it set to uh, turn on an alarm if it reaches 570. And when that alarm happens, the uh, the damper unit will will close itself down. Over here, you can see uh, 72 degrees over here. My my set point is 75. Um, so it's calling for heat. It says heat on right there. This switch here is main power. And this switch over here will uh, disable that alarm. I actually have a pretty pretty noisy alarm in the closet. And if I don't want to hear that going off, I can just turn that down. The alarm won't, won't go off. I'm actually going to force this thing to try to go into the alarm mode for you. Um, I'm going to turn this fan down, make sure this damper is open. And right there is a thermometer. It is actually going up slowly, but that reaches, you know, 550, 600. It's going to alarm, and this damper system here, it's going to get a signal, and it's going to command itself to shut down and that'll start cooling down so let's run upstairs and see if we can't get see if this will uh, alarm all right 73 degrees in here and over here this this is gonna start alarming in a second I'm purposely trying to get it to alarm to show you there we go and the damper downstairs is actually closing down I'm going to turn the noise off and you're going to actually see this number start to drop look at that as it chokes off the fire um, it'll start coming back down it'll open up again around 510 or so you can see how this is still coming down we still have an alarm there and now it's actually opening back up to give itself some more air. Sorry to go back up. I'm going to go downstairs and turn the, all the fans on that I normally would have on so that this doesn't overheat.